just got back from hunting, man, you bagged, big old sad daddy. You want to get him mounted. You want to show him off in the living room back at the house. What do you do from the field to taking him to the taxidermist? So many people make the mistake and mess up a cake. My buddy Paul at Rack and Spur Taxidermy, he's going to show you what you should do and how you need to take care of that big old bruiser. That way the taxidermist can give you the trophy of a lifetime to show off forever. I'm going to show you how we cape uh, a whitetail for mountain. Uh, this pretty much works for any any game animal you can get up on a uh, on a rack here. Um, we're going to make our first incision. And we're going to make a relief cut here. Now you just want to follow your hair pattern right here where it's the brown and the white hair meet. Try to watch out for ticks. I like to use a scalpel blade. Uh, any real nice sharp blade will work. Um, the sharper the better. And I'll stop right here. And that's basically at this joint. And you just take and open your skin up. And you're just separating the membrane from the meat. We're going to go ahead and wring this off. We got him all broke down like we look like we like him. Now what we'll do is we'll take a sawzall and we'll cut right here and remove the section of the leg because we don't need it. Everybody has their own way of uh, breaking him down from the back end. I just, it's just a, a habit. I always follow the hair patterns. Um, just stick your scalpel in there or sharp blade just By doing it this way, breaking them all down from the back end all the way forward, you don't get near as much hair on the meat as you would if you were to cut him down here. And just slowly work them down. That won't take very long. We're here at the front shoulder. Uh, you want to take your, take your time in here. Um, this area is still a little critical. You got your brisket right here, which is on your form. And uh, pretty much from here forward is all on your form. So, uh, you know, you want to try not to cut holes, but you know, then again, if it's, it's not the end of the world, if you do, it's, it's time that are generally an easy fix. You just slowly work and remove your membrane from the skin to meat. Just, just slowly work and pull them, work them down. You'll see the hair will start popping through. We've already skinned all this out from the other side. Just slowly, just come off the, off the shoulder. Now we're here by this brisket area. I, I stick my hands up in here. You're not gonna cut your finger. This is your body's not gonna, gonna let you hurt yourself. Typically, I stick my hand in there so I can feel where my blade is. And just, we're just going to work him down his neck now. But we're down about as far as we need to be. I'll try to preserve about four to six inches of neck meat for a taxidermist to take a measurement. Gonna take his head off now. You can. You don't have to use a sawzall. I like to. It's just a little bit easier. Okay, here's our finished out, our caped out deer. We left a whole back skin on. You can take it like this to a taxidermist. He can cut it off. It's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Um, you see. Uh, you have plenty of leg skin here. You can go with any kind of wall pedestal, um, specialty forms of any kind. You know, everything will fit good. Okay. If if this was an elk or a, or another large animal like caribou or something like that, um, you would make a, an incision right here, make it a Y incision coming from the burr about to the, there, there's a hair pattern here on top. You just follow that triangular, 
triangular looking hair pattern. You come back here, you make a little Y, and then you just follow it. Right down the center of his back, all the way to the all the way to his tail. And then you can break him over, break him all apart, get your meat out. Thank you for the, for your time watching this video. And uh, join us again when we try to shed some more light on taxidermy tips. Thank you.